Hey, hello there. Welcome to Idaho Lorik Speaks Behind the Radiation. Yes, it's a windy day, so behind the uranium curtain, it is good to be protected. So on days like this, I'm sorry if I'm in zone two near tremendous amounts of uranium materials, I am going to protect myself. It's up to you whether you protect yourself and your children. But today, today we're going to take a look at free speech. And we're going to look at what people do. We say a picture's worth a thousand words. A good meme is worth, is a novel. So uh, we're going to throw some memes at you today. Some memes I just grabbed off the internet here. Just decide why not. Let's see what the meme machine's doing. Let's see what people are, well, capturing, sharing, informing people using free speech using memes and of course i'm here to talk about any one of, them, one of them so i can defend them in terms of their legitimacy so anyways we're going to begin with some of that today and we're going to begin right now with there we go oh i'll read this one to you just for those who are reading impaired which we have a lot in Pocatello who can't read the Pocatello Valley Voice, sources of information for the contamination of your children. In fact, we have a school board election coming up and who's running. We'll talk about that. Uh, oh, my political posts are annoying you. Sorry, I assume the future of humanity was worth discussing. Show me another picture of your meal. I like that one because that's what we're talking about today. Free speech. Okay, let's talk about a little bit of issues in our community. I love this one. Uh, this processed uranium materials. Uh, district 32, Senate District, used to be occupied by Tippetts, Tippetts, John Tippetts, which is now the director of the Idaho Department of Environmental Quality. So if you have any idea why nobody does anything, because Otter, Butch Otter, appointed him to control the Idaho Department of Environmental Quality here and to try to keep the EPA out. Of course, I wouldn't trust the EPA as far as I can throw them regarding this, but uh, we have our Superfund sites with them and they have only mentioned. They come to Pocatello and they just sneak in, sneak out. They know I'm waiting for to meet with them. They're supposed to meet with me and they just don't meet with me. What can I say? They're afraid of me. I guess it's the mask or, or actually they try to get somebody in the IDEQ local office to do their work for them. So 